for the past week or so, we here at the show, mm -hmm. pretty excited, we've been following the custody trial of right-wing radio host <laughs> and hernia who wished he was a real boy, Alex Jones. <laughs> In court, uh, Jones's ex-wife has claimed that Alex is unhinged, and she's backed up that claim with clips like this. I can smell you from a thousand miles away, and you smell like failure. You smell like hell. And I want to thank the God of the universe that I'm not with these people. I, oh, I, I get tears in my eyes to God, but I'm thankful every day that I don't come from filth like you that want to trample on humanity. Thank God I'm not a degenerate, filthy vampire like you. Adding, happy Valentine's Day, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Valentine's <laughs> Day. Now, uh, here's the deal. Alex Jones's lawyers have insisted that his on mic persona is just a character that evidently he's been playing since he was a teenager. When I was 16, I didn't want to party anymore. I didn't want to play games anymore. I grew up. I'd already been in the fights, all the big rituals. I'd already had probably, a, I hate to brag, so I'm not bragging, it's actually shameful, probably 150 women or more. That's conservative. <laughs> I'd had over 150 women. I'd already been in fights with full grown men. I was already dating college girls by the time I was 15 years old. I was already a man. Yep. Yep. Fight and have sex. That's what men do. One thing we evidently don't do, take our mood stabilizers. <laughs> unfortunately, unfortunately, <laughs> Alex Jones's brand of fact-free truth-telling has been making him some enemies, like the powerful cabal known as Chobani Yogurt, <laughs> who is now suing Jones for claiming that their Twin Falls Idaho yogurt plant has been spreading crime and tuberculosis. <laughs> To be fair, crime and tuberculosis is one of Chobani's least favorite flavors. Still. Still. Mm, mm. Still better than pomegranate. Now, this might shock you, but Alex Jones is furious. And he has a message for Chobani. Guess what? You just ran into a Texan. So you get ready! Because we're never backing down, and our audience isn't backing down. All right, take note, Alex Jones listeners. He just volunteered for you to fist fight a yogurt factory. <laughs> All right? Now, I understand what Alex Jones is going through personally. Because for years, I'm not telling anything you guys don't know, I've also been playing a right-wing radio host, my beloved character, Tuck Buckford. <laughs> and Tuck has dealt with a lot of the same stuff. Don't do it. You can only trust one out of five dentists, okay? The one who hates gum is the only one who knows the truth, all right? But Brain Nation, old Tuck's not backing down. You know why? Because I'm more than a man's man. I'm a man's man's man! Okay? I'm man-cubed. I got tired of games by the time I was 13. All right? Woo! All right, when I was 13, I'd already had kissing time with 22,000 ladies, all right? That's with tongue. And I made love to a woman of every height, not metric. That's how you get a venereal disease, all right? Stick to the imperial scale. And then all the women love me because I knew how to draw Snoopy, all right? All right, a nose there. And a vampire Snoopy, controlled by George Soros, drinking the blood of Charlie Brown, okay? Which is why they may try. I feel sorry for them. I'm not gonna roll over for big yogurt, the Aluma Chobani working to undermine the liberty of the American manscape. That's why I stick to Patriot brands like Yo Play and Stony Field Yo Kid Squeezers, not that Activia stuff. They're out forcing Jamie Lee Curtis to poop. She doesn't want to do that. Pooping is a choice. She's a woman, and I know woman, because I remind you, I slept with every woman named Deborah in the Western Hemisphere. George Soros doesn't want you to know the real value of yogurt, okay? 
that it's a natural protein-rich gamma ray shield to keep the Clinton Foundation from reading your dreams, okay? You take this, you take this yogurt. It can be plain, it can be vanilla. It cannot be fruit flavored, all right? Why is the fruit on the bottom? What is it hiding? Why is it down there? You take a plain yogurt, all right? You take this, you rub it right on your forehead, right there. Now they can't read your mind. You can't get in here, John Podesta, okay? You can't put yogurt on a pizza. My brain is a steel trap. I, I can't even tell what I'm thinking. Look, I have no idea why I'm doing this because I can't even read my own brain right now, all right? And the thing is, if you want to fulfill the vision of founding father Spuds McKenzie, not even death will prevent you from visiting mybrainfightstore.com where you can buy nutrient-dense vitaceuticals and iodine suppositories as well as several books that I have written in a fugue state. Because I am a man, a man who takes PayPal, who has definitely had sex in a hot tub filled with yogurt because the active cultures are a natural spermicide. They fight the sperm, all right? But my sperm wins. My sperm is a dragon of baby making. Brain Fights brought to you by Squarespace. Not the web hosting company. It's a portable cube shaped cage where I keep the alien who insists he's my neighbor. I'm not buying it. I haven't seen my neighbor for years. Oh, they're getting in. Oh, they're trying to get in. Don't let your guard down. They're trying to get in. How great. Stay strong, Tom.